I mentioned they would clinch a playoff berth with a win. They can also do so with a tie or losses by the 49ers and Seahawks. The Birds are dominating 21, 20 and 6 versus the Giants, dating back to the start of 2009. In that span, only three teams have won more than 20 games versus a single opponent. RC, I'm going to start with you on this one. Is this a must win game for the Eagles? No. It's not a must win. I mean, this is a should win. This is a team that you are better than. This is a team that you've played better than, not only throughout the entire season, but down the stretch. You're more talented than. You have more at stake than. But this isn't a must win. This isn't like if the, the, the Philadelphia Eagles lose this game, they won't be or can't be the number one seed. If the Philadelphia Eagles lose this game, they can't win the Super Bowl. But the thing that you want to do and the team that the Philadelphia Eagles is competing against the most is themselves. Have you fixed your run-stopping problems? Can you plug the middle? Can you stop Saquon Barkley from gassing you and creating explosive plays in the run game? Can you keep Daniel Jones from making plays in the middle of the field when Brian Dayball decides to go to boot action off of play action? Those are the things that are important in this game. Does Jalen Hurts continue to be one of the best decision makers in football? Can A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith still dominate on the outside and Quez Watkins in the slot? Those are the things that the Philadelphia Eagles have to continue to work on because their picture is bigger. Their picture isn't winning the NFC East. Their picture isn't win isn't beating the New York Giants this week. The Philadelphia Eagles have been the best team in football from the start of the season until now. And we played double dutch with it and Stephen A makes his list of best teams and he doesn't put the Philadelphia Eagles at the top and then Gilly the Kid gets at him on social media. I think he enjoys that. He knows, I know, Bart Scott knows that the Philadelphia Eagles are playing with house money right now. And that house money says that the only way that we falter is if we do it. And so they're focused on themselves against the Giants. It's not about must win. Wins, it's about playing a certain way, and that's what they'll be focused on. Well, first of all, a couple of things. Number one, if you're going to sit up there and bring up my business about people getting on me about on social media, <laughs> could, you be, could you be accurate? The person that got on me on social media most was that damn Charlie <laughs> Mack, all right? Will Smith's boy, my man from <laughs> Philly that I've known for a quarter century. I love him. That's my brother, but he get on my damn nerves with them damn Eagles. So when I dropped them to five because I didn't like the way their defense looked over a three-week span, and stuff like that. He sat up there. Not only did he call me, he got his damn son on the, sh on, the, on the phone, and both he and his son jumped on me, okay? But then the <laughs> Eagles went out there, and they stomped the Tennessee Titans. And so when they stomped them in that fashion, I said, okay, that's the Eagles that we know and love. Having said all of that, you know why I'm going to call this a must win for the Eagles, RC? It ain't just because the Cowboys haven't gone away and they're still in position to get uh, the, the NFC East and the number one seed in the NFC, it's for this reason. You know something? I just watched the damn New York Giants finish with a tie against the muffler man himself, uh, Mr. Taylor Heineke, all right? The muffler <laughs> man, that's what I call him, okay? And, 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 and Taylor Heineke and, 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 and the commanders, all right, who I keep calling the Commodores, they got me thinking about Lionel Richie all the damn time, okay? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the commanders, all right? You can't, you, you can't beat them. The fact of the matter is all the Giants appear to have at this point is Saquon Barkley, who, by the way, isn't 100%. And so for me, if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, you're supposed to handle this kind of business. This is what you're supposed to do. And if you don't do it, I got a problem with that. <coughs> now, you said, you said the Giants couldn't beat the Commodores. Well, guess what? The Eagles couldn't beat them either. I know. So so you mm. talk about the Eagles couldn't beat them. So you mean that the the Eagles, the, the Commanders are now. a good football team, and they're going to get Chase Hello? Young back, and they're going to have something to say about the playoff <laughs> picture as well, right? You talk you talk about this isn't a must win. This is a better win because if you don't win, then it makes that game against the Cowboys the rematch without Cooper Rush a, a game that could be a determining factor on who's the number one seed. Everything that you did if you're the Philadelphia Eagles was to make sure that it had to go through Lincoln Field. And for that to happen, you better win. You can't show that immaturity that sometimes young teams have by not taking the opponent seriously. Now, the Giants, that's another story, right? Because you look at this. If this was the BCS and we were talking about strength of schedule, the, the, the entire NFC East we would kind of laugh at, right? Because they play each other. And, yes, their, their schedule outside of their conference was easy. Right? So sometimes we have to see 
who resume is legit. And now we're starting to find out that the Giants resume isn't absolutely legit. And they're coming back to earth. And Brian Dayball has done a tremendous job in what he's done with what he has. But with no McKinley, without uh, Badori Jackson, he's just running out of live bodies. This should be an example of how yeah. to fix your run game because simply this should be a 9-on-7 game because this should be a joke if you have Bradbury and if you have big play Slay that you even look their way with a safety. Your safety should be in the box making sure that you are getting your run gap fits together because this should be a game that you win running away. But you have to win it and you better win it because you don't want it to come down to a game against the Cowboys for the division or for the division to see who's the number one seed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.